Alright, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy B Bullet RC and I'm coming back at you guys today with yet another video and today I've been getting a lot of requests for a top list for spring and summer 2017 as far as kicks go. So there's about 10, there's gonna be some honorable mentions cause y'all know I gotta cheat on these lists. And what I'm gonna do for this list, I'm gonna start from the cheaper options and then work my way up to the more expensive options. And if I can find a sale here or there for you guys, I will definitely make sure to link it down below. And any of these shoes I mentioned, if I can find them online, they will be linked down below. So if you see something you like, you kinda fuck with, bada boom, bada bang, you got a new pair of kicks for this spring and summer 17. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get into the list. And if you ask this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like down below. So let's get into my top 10 and a few more, of course. Shoes for 2017, let's get it. So for the first shoe we're gonna start off with is one coming out around at 100 to 110. I'm not sure if you can find these online or sale. Some of the shoes you can in this list, but that is the Tubular Shadow. Now this pair isn't even my pair. This is actually my girl's pair. This is like a pastel pink pair, but it is a men's colorway. As far as sizing goes, I think these things run a little big. Now the whole upper is a knit material. And of course, when you see this shoe, the first thing you're gonna think of is Yeezy. Of course. And coming in at 110 is something that you can definitely grab. They don't seem to really sell out and there's a lot of colorways they're making for this shoe. So if you're looking for an option like around 100 bucks, the Adidas Tubular Shadow can be your kick. I personally don't own any, but I can definitely see why these would really work in the spring and summer. A nice knitted, lightweight, low top Adidas model that's not gonna really break the bank. So this next kick is one I missed out on last year, but they're pretty readily available and they clock in at about 110 to 120 if you can find them in store for retail. So it shouldn't be too hard to find these. You probably can find them on eBay as well and you already see the box, the Converse and Comme des Garcons Chucks. And this pair right here is the low top. Now there's a low top and there's a mid top, but I think both are great options. It's a chuck, so it's a low top, low weight, except for the sole. The sole in these joints is heavy. These, they're heavy, the sole is thick and heavy, but the actual shoe, the canvas upper, is nice, lightweight, and breathable. Any Chuck, any Converse All-Star will work. I'm just recommending the Calm de Garcon because they have a subtle little bit of a uh, little bit of designer flex on them. Now, I bought mine locally, and I wanna tell you guys one thing. When you're messing with Chucks or any shoe like this, remember, go a full size down. I usually wear a 12 and everything else, these are an 11 and they fit perfect. I'm even wearing them loose and they don't feel like they're flopping off my feet. And remember, these come in a mid top as well. I just went with the low top, but the mid top is clean too. So my next shoe coming in that same kind of 100 to $120 range is Saucony's. And some of these things you can actually find for way under retail, even some of the more premium material pairs. And I classify stuff like this as like a low key runner. So if you really fuck with it, you really fuck with it. But the people that don't really fuck with them, don't really fuck with them. But I think it's a good mix of just materials for price, for comfort. I think they're definitely right on hitting the money. And depending on the colorway, like I said, you can find them on sale. Now this was a feature collab. I don't know if this one goes for its retail price. But most premium Saucony drops cost about 120 to 130. Depending on the colorway, they're pretty easily accessible and you can find them on sale. So why not toss them into the list? So that's gonna be my third kick for this list. So this next one is another low key runner and I literally just went and looked up the prices. They go for about 80 to 120 with some options even cheaper on eBay. And that's the Nike Air Zoom Teleria. Trust me, the tennis ball look on these, the neon green, this shoe screams summer, spring 17. Now I got mine in a size 13 and luckily this shoe retails for 175 and I got them for 24 bucks at a Nike outlet just off of weird random outlet find that I found when I was out in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you want something that's loud and not a lot of people are gonna have but when you wear them, they're gonna ask you where'd you get them from? The Zoom Teleria is that shoe, trust me. Now, it was mentioned before that I had to get mine a size 13, but that's because they didn't have a 12, and I'm pretty sure you can go true to size on this one. These do fit a little big on me, but nonetheless, these are still fresh. And even though they do have like that vault feel, these don't look like any modern Nikes today. This is definitely a vintage runner, and you can tell that from the look, the materials, the feel, and even the bottom, like that heat wave bottom, it's crazy. Zoom Teleria, check, next one. So next up is another low key runner and that's the Asics Gel Light Kayano. Now this one I have to recommend because it comes in at about 120 to 130. It's another one of those low key runners and they release them in a lot of like monochrome colors, tans, blues, 
grays and they're really gonna work well with a lot of different stuff that you wear so this pair actually came out last year and I talked about them a good little bit but I just want to mention them again and this is just the ocean gray pair it's from the ocean pack there's a green pair and there's also this gray pair but I think they just released like three new colorways one's like a light birch like a light tan another one's like a pale blue and then the other one may be another gray version but a lot lighter gray than this one if you're wearing these these definitely lend themselves better to some type of track pant or jogger I don't know if jeans look that great you'd have to like pen roll them or something but with shorts they work as well so the Asics gel like Kayano another low-key runner comes in a lot of different colorways another good option and another one that can go on sale if you look around for it pretty sure if you go on eBay you can probably find these for under retail so if I can find them like I said I'll link you below so now we're getting a little bit higher up in price range and these are gonna run at 140 and I'm telling you this is gonna be an important shoe for spring and summer. So obviously, as you guys can see, this is an Adidas Boost model, but it doesn't come at 170 or 180. It comes at 140, and that's the Adidas Pure Boost. Trust me, this is a good shoe. So on these, as far as sizing go, I would say they do fit a half size big. So if you have a narrow foot, definitely go down half a size. If you have a wider foot, don't be scared to go true to size. And the uppers on this pair are extremely similar to the tubular shell that you guys saw before. But these ones do come with the boost midsole. So I'm going to assume these will be more comfortable than the shadow. And all in all, I think it's just another good silhouette coming from Adidas. You want something different than your regular Ultra Boost or regular NMD or even the new EQT Boost, I would definitely say make sure to check this one out. The Adidas Pure Boost coming in at 140 I think that's a killer price for these it's a good looking shoe and this is the white pair and trust me I will be doing a review on this pair soon so if you're not convinced now maybe that'll convince you so we just did 140 and these ones come in at 150 and that is the Nike flying it racer now if you want to talk about something that's lightweight it, it really doesn't get more lightweight than these two shoes it's an all flying it upper and you can basically see through the shoe on the side panel on the toe so these are extremely breathable and this pair recently came out I don't know if they sold out yet but this is the blue multicolored pair the 2.0s when you take into account that when these first dropped they sold out and they were just selling for crazy prices and now they finally restocked and they're not even going for that much. I think if you were looking for this shoe before and you're passing on it now, I would definitely say go ahead, take the leap and grab them now before they go away again and then people try and crack heads. Try to get these joints for retail. And another thing that keeps people away from the Flying Eraser is the bottom. It's just this narrow opening at the midfoot where your arch is at. If you're someone that has a really flat foot, you might struggle a little bit with that and they may not be too comfortable on your feet because of that. But if your foot is more narrow, more skinny, I would say this is definitely a go. Since they are multicolored, you can go really basic up top with the outfit and just toss these on and they speak for themselves. So this is my next option, the Flying It Racers. They just restocked. I would say get them before they're gone for sure. So for our next option, this shoe is actually releasing in a few days, maybe even tomorrow, and that's the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet. Now these ones clock in at 160, 10 bucks above the Flying It Racer, but these are classic, another OG release, and they just look good on feet. The overall shape of these, especially with joggers, shorts, they're just a good looking Nike runner. And just to add on to that OG feel of it, it's an all gray shoe with a little red hit, so they're really easy to match up with. This outfit I'm wearing right now, I could toss these on with this effortlessly. And then as far as comfort goes, you already know, you got the 360 air bubble on the bottom, so you don't really have to worry about that at all. Just go ahead with your true size, you will not be sorry. Don't miss out on this one, Silver Bullet Air Max 97s. Crazy looking shoe, all over 3M, definitely gonna recommend this one. So now that we're out of that 160 range, we're up to about 170 and 180, and this is where a lot of the Adidas Boost models are gonna come in. So this first one I'm gonna talk about is actually a recent model, and that's the Adidas Boost EQT support joints, the 9317s. With this Adidas model, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Whichever one you do, doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> Honestly, so I would say if you're looking for this shoe You definitely want to try to get it on release date or just wait to see if the price goes down now me personally This is my favorite pair the all-white pair is the best pair by far and these are just an updated EQT model with your prime knit uppers and your boost on the outsole and this is the shoe that has the most boost right now It's just a big chunk a big block of boost on these so they're extremely comfortable but it is one of those that retails at that higher 170 to 180 mark and if they sell out they resell for even more than that so that's another more pricier option the eqt boost to support joints got mine on adidas.com if i can find for some decent prices i'll try to link them down below for y'all 
and we can't talk about boost without mentioning some of the heavy hitters and of course this is one is the NMD R2 and I'm not going to talk too much about these because this is just an updated version of the original NMD but I definitely feel like it's a great shoe still really comfortable and I would still say get your true size in these just so your toes don't bunch up in the front when you have like these sock like runners and these sock like shoes if your toes are bunching up in the front they don't look as good as if when they're in the box see how the box is nice and smooth if your toes are bunched up, it does not look like that when you have them on. And if you guys watched my last video, I did post some of my shoes up on my site, bullsbodega.bigcartel.com. If I'm ever selling anything, it's there. These are the as well, size 13. Next one. And since we're out of that 170 to 180 range, the next one's gonna be the Nike Air Vapor Max. And I'm not gonna harp on these as much as I already have. So just know I really like this shoe. Go true to size, extremely comfortable, a really dope looking shoe in my opinion. I have a review for these on my channel, so if you're looking for that, you can go peep that. Brand new Nike model coming at 200, love it or hate it, it's a great shoe for spring and summer, 17, so I had to put it on this list. And last up, but definitely not least up, this is the most expensive shoe on this list. I talk about these as well, so I'm not gonna harp on them, and that is the Y3 ZG Knit. These ones come in at 320 US retail. It's your Pure Boost model with a little bit of Y3 flare on it, priming it uppers, a little bit of a different shape. So if you want that little bit of extra designer flex on your runners and you're willing to spend a little bit extra to get that, that little bit better one, that the little bit flexier one, this is gonna be a good mile for you. So that wraps up all of the main shoes I wanna talk about in this one. Now I need to definitely mention two or three more kicks really quick and now I'm gonna let y'all go and y'all can do what you need to do. Like I said, links below. And these last two I'm gonna quickly talk about is just Vans, of course. I can't make this list and not mention Vans. They come in at about 40 bucks. Certain collabs go for more. Old schools, eras, skate highs. Vans are a classic. They're easily accessible and they're easy to buy over and over again and just tear them up. 40 bucks, 60 bucks, can't beat them. And y'all know I'm not gonna make this list, talk about Vans and all this other stuff, Adidas Ultra Boost, and not mention J's. And with certain colorways way more widely available these days, that makes things like the Cherry 13s, even the Royal Ones that I've seen going for about 250. I'm telling y'all, if you want Royals, you see them for 250, you might as well just hop on that. Do not let these creep up. I feel like these are gonna creep up just like the bread ones did. It's a lot of people trying to sell them real, real quick and move them. So if you see a good deal now, go ahead. Go ahead and grab them. So that's the last shoe I just wanted to mention. Jays are always a good move. No All right, y'all, so that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. My camera did die. So anyways, you guys can see in the end, this, it's everything. These are all the shoes I just recommended to you guys. All nice, okay, not really nice, but all stacked up. All the different flavors right here represented. And over here, of course, we got the couple of uh, honorable mention Vans and Jays. So guys, that is it for this video. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blase blah, of course. Bullet RC, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I just got some little new sample landed in the building, so I'm about to go peep that. I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace.